Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, welcome back to Pop House. All right, we got a fun video for you today. We got some pickups that I've made as I was wandering out and around. Just a couple, nothing really major. I'm going to show you those on the spinner. We're going to get those popping. I got some stuff that came in from Mr. Killaholic Gaming. He hooked me up with a few things. He's got some more stuff that are on his way to me. But we're going to go through all these really cool things. We're going to show them to you on the spinner. We're going to have just a fun, simple day today. I um, already got a call. There will be no Sunday fun day this week. We're having a little bit of weather issues here. So they've already canceled it. So have to say there will be no Sunday Fundy video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing cracking and snapping and locking and let's get everything going and have some fun with it. So on that note, let's cue that intro. One. Welcome, to, welcome Pop to Pop House! All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We got a few little toys here I picked up. Um, I'll show you these. I'm trying to think of everything in the way to go through them here real quick. We're going to start with a simple one. Mr. Pat, he's been on here a few times. He's been a seller. He's done some things. Well, he had this little bad boy here he likes. He's a Game of Thrones fan. So I got him the iron. He has the big one. This is the four inch. All right, this is iron from uh, Game of Thrones. I am not a big Game of Thrones fan. I don't know whose dragon he is. You could definitely ask Mr. Pat. He would know. Again, not a Game of Thrones guy, so... Sorry, not able to tell you. But it's a pretty cool looking little pop. I mean, you don't have to be a Game of Thrones fan to look at the detail and the thing. It's a dragon. Dragons are always cool, at least in my book. Pretty nice little thing. They got the detail, the spines up the back. Iron. Alrighty. For those Hunter Hunter fans out there, I picked up this little one. Uh, I've only seen her once. Uh, I think it's... Aluka, Aluka, it's Zodiac, I don't know. It's Kilowatt's sister, I don't quite know how to say her name. Um, I don't read the anime, I just, I mean, read the manga, I just watch the anime. So I've only seen her once and remembering how to pronounce her name, kind of a hard thing, sorry. Alrighty, Hunter Hunter fans, this one's for you. Again, you have to help me out, I'm normally pretty good with my names, but this one I'm not. I've only seen her like once. This is Kilo, not Kilowa. Kilowa's little sister. Pretty neat little pop. She has a chase. I obviously didn't get the chase, or I'd be showing it off right now. But her name is Aluka. I, I want to believe is how you say it. The little smiley faces and stuff there. Pretty neat little character, I think. Let me know what you guys think of her. All right. This next one's a favorite of mine. And, well, not necessarily mine. Of my kids and my wife's. She's already pre-ordered it. But I found one out in the wild, so we picked it up. The Hex Girls. If you didn't, weren't able to get her Hot Topic, just dropped them. It shows the whole Scooby-Doo line here with Shaggy, Scooby, sorry. Shaggy, Scooby, the clown guy, and all some other villains there. But it's a Scooby-Doo Hex Girls. They're kind of cool. If you don't know who they are, they're the band that plays. Ooh, wow, she's out there. All right, but they're the band that plays in there, the Hex Girls. All right, we got the first one of the Hex Girls here. She's whipping around here pretty quick. I don't know which one of the Hex Girls is what. They don't really have a name telling me, but this is one of the Hex Girls. I'm going to do all three of them. Hopefully they all stand. They got big heads. They got bases, but I didn't want to pull them out. That's the first one of the Hex Girls. Hex Girl number two. Had to get the bases out. They, they don't like to cooperate. The Redhead. I mean, again, this is the band from Scooby-Doo. So I think most of y'all have seen them. I don't quite remember them for that much. But hey, it's all good. Scooby, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Got some things to do now, Scooby Dooby Doo. Oh, roll Shaggy! <laughs> Third but not last of the Hex Girls. Pretty cool.
the Hex Girls. All right. Time for the meat and the fun. This has been one that's been coming for a long time. I've been picking on Killa. It was one of the ones we originally started talking and trading. He was looking for for me. He's had some people fall out on him. He's had some different things. But this is one of the original things. This is from way back when. Uh, not Killa's fault. I just like to pick on him because it took so long. But he got me the Red Hulk. The chase, the glow in the dark. I will show you the glow on this bad boy. But yeah, this is a pretty cool pop. I've been hunting for this for quite a while. It's just been a definite want. If you haven't noticed all the different Hulks in that in our collection, me and the wife definitely collect a lot of Hulks. All right, here's the Red Hulk. I'm going to show you the glow once we get him around here a couple times. He had a pretty sick glow on this guy. He's a pretty cool one. Like I said, he is the chase. There he's going around. I'm going to shut the lights off. See how much I can get him to fire up for you. It's going to take just a second. You'll see that black light. I guess I could have done some of this out of the... But I just want to get it charged up for you. Going to take a little second. So one problem I have with this glow. The face gets going really quick with the body. See that body takes a second. It glows really well. But it just takes a second to get fired up. Even with this high powered black light. Give it one more good time around here. Okay here he comes. Check out this glow. The whole body, the head, that is just sick. All right. And then this next one's from Killa also. It's something that we did. Uh, he found out he wanted something. Uh, he wanted a Leonardo, that chase I got for him. Well, he found out what I traded for it. So he went out and got me that to help me out because I didn't, you know, one good turn deserves another. You know, Mr. Nathan had some, he, <laughs> He goofed up. He got rid of it. He probably shouldn't have. He let me know, so I traded it back to him. No big deal. Wasn't upset about it at all. Glad to hook somebody up. I've been in his shoes. I've done the same thing. <laughs> um, so it was an awesome deal to be able to help him out. Well, then when I helped Killa out, Killa knew what I did, so he helped me out, and he got me the Ang, the Spirit Glow Chase Ang. I'll show you the glow on that. I didn't last time. All right, here we go. This is Zuku as a blue spirit Ang. He's here. I got this one. This is a pretty cool glow. I'll have to show this one off. Another one that takes a second to charge up. But once it charges up, it's pretty cool. I'll get the whole body going here. It charges really nice. I didn't realize how much of this thing glowed until I got it charged the other day. Let's see, you see that mass just glowing right up there. Just a really cool looking pop. All right, Blue Spirit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this. It's been a fun video. Remember to hit that like button, but only if you did. Tell me what the favorite thing you saw today of all these pops we went through. If you have any particular favorite, and just let me know. Some comments are a great thing. Tomorrow's video is going to be kind of a fly by the seat of the pants because, you know, I don't really have anything with the Sunday fun day out of there, but I'll come up with something for you. I got some fun stuff going. Um, this next week, just to give you a heads up of what's going on, I'm hoping I ordered from 7 bucks a pop. Uh, they've got a double mystery box where there was two pops in there with a chance at a Planet Arlen Vegeta. I ordered some of those. Uh, you can only order two, so I ordered those. I also ordered from them their uh, protectors with a magnetic lid because I noticed Funko Shop redid their protector. So I want to give you a comparison of those, the Funko Shop, the Pops, the hard case, and then the seven bucks of Pops so I can show you those again. And then I also got some of their protectors compared to the ones I'm using. So again, I could go through and give you another update on the protectors and see how everything's been. Just a little bit of those nice tip and informings and keeping you guys up to date on what's going on. It is really kind of cool, the different changes. And it does show that Funko, as much as we say they don't listen, they do listen to us a little bit. There's some fun stuff they listen to us on. But I'm going to go through some of that with you next week. Um, other than that, I think next week's going to be a fun week. Uh, I'm going to 10 hours a day at work, so we'll see how these videos work out. I'm still going to try to bring you something every day, but they might be a little bit more 
thrown together. We'll see. We'll see how this works. All right, everybody. I want to thank you all for watching. Like I said, after you've subscribed, if you have, hit the notification button, the like, comments, all that. If you want to, when you guys share these videos, it really, really helps. It's been a big growth since you guys have been doing that. I just want to say, I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope you've all had a great weekend. Hopefully you got all the Black Friday deals you wanted and all that shopping is done and getting ready for Christmas. And I just want to say, peace.